So this is one of the some queries that I did last year. I don't know. It's, it's working or still not working. Let's check it like uh, uh, insert buildings and all sort of queries there. And here maybe <coughs> maybe create tables from the selected query. It's one of the complex queries. And then and geometry and distance from something uh, from okay let's have it checked but i didn't i am not sure it is work so within three kilometer the car sharing okay maybe it's no still not i don't know okay it does not exist maybe something here the car sharing car sharing car sharing car sharing from here okay let's create a tables Create a tables, tables, tables. Okay, not here. But uh, I mean, what I mean that you can also query the distance between the geometries. You can build in very special functionalities based on the based on the your your requirements, the feature requirements. And and this is this is this 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 possible because it's possible to to handle those those things. So maybe. I am not sure. Maybe here they can put it like uh, o, uh, OSM, OSM roads. It OSM roads have a geom object and it has the type. Okay, let's have a car. Three kilometers. Yes, there's nothing there. So, <coughs> okay, this is the point transformation. But you get the idea what I mean. The, the the query and then do some some extra works for that one and you can build some extra points so let's 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 done by our basic query functionality what information we have it to select uh, start from the from the osm points maybe osm osm points that osm roads we did it with some railways points and uh, poi and points OSM points, that's true, the point tables, okay, queries, okay, so this is the point tables and then even though you can, you can filter some like type of the points, the, the data type and this is the point structure from the OSM, OSM ID, timestamp when created, name of the type and the geometry information of the on the geom 4326 geometry features the real geometry objects so then we have the like points nature and buildings maybe what time select from uh, from osm this is buildings buildings maybe which information is there and we can cross check it <coughs> it takes time because it's a really big data sets. So you see that the data set is there. The exactly the same structure like points and the road is different than, than we expected. <coughs> Maybe we can uh, where type is equal than hospital. So all the hospital information is there so in across the country so that's the idea to to to, to familiarize how can you java how connected with your databases and then so on so forth <coughs> and then you build your 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 gis software tools based on the your backend server so that means in the backend server you need the gis <coughs> Sorry, post GIS extension or post GIS SQL database, and then build your connectivity, and then here the connections, and you have necessary information. The can kind of username, password, and database name, and you pass the the, the parameters, and you connect to the database and visualize this information into the into the tabular forms, or doesn't matter in the in the maps forms. That's the idea. So that means that means it is clear now that the you have idea like look like how can you start the projects uh, how can you start the uh, just uh, how you can start the, the projects with telegid or a ID or other ides and then 
you you in, in inject your dependency if you have a plain java projects that's like uh, reference your project as like here the java projects you just reference libraries and pull put all the libraries into here and reference to the reference library and automatically link to the reference library to the your dependency injections or if you are building in a gem maven just build the maven projects and put it the all pom all pom.xml files <coughs> which dependency that's you need this is the good idea professional idea and good idea to build the the, the project so we have the artifact id and you have the um, group id and the version number and the packaging style the jar packaging because this is the jar files in the end of the day you need to be released the the end client the client need to run these jar files into the and then this is the dependency j unit dependency shape files the <coughs> swing dependency post case database jdbc driver dependency and jdbc uh, special light driver ep epsg sql light and post case driver geo geo tools and dependency and maven depend building dependency and so on and so forth that's that's the the, the the two different structure and then you can start the development that's today we explain the the selections uh, selection implementation query selection implementations and also the selection tab and and the next screencast i will explain a little bit more uh, about the styling and also the other part of the of the implementations and then then in there i have another project like here uh, completely completely java java projects and this is a project for my um, for my, uh, my when i was master students that i that i did at here the this is the application you can go there i run can can run it so you got the idea of what i mean here so you have the this is the objects you can uh, application completely independent application you can pay, clear the points uh, you can build the points what you like to do and even though you can build the lines and then you can also input the points and the soul all things and then you can select <coughs> selection all everything and then delete the uh, features and then and again to select delete delete moment as selected it's a little bit slower sorry delete so delete it delete it <coughs> then maybe create one to one, one power points so, so create create and then some lines and let's have a try to import it this <coughs> though you can there's a possibility to export export the csv files maybe we can export it like in csv test in desktop test test csv okay object is selected and you can you can after that you can select everything remove <coughs> i mean the what functionality is it selection and then you can import the, again this input files so test we store here test successfully this is the import so it's, it's clear this application is working properly i will explain you a little bit deeper here uh, this is different way this is the clearly clearly java projects so there is no dependency injection from the geo tools or gdl tools but i will show you how can you build this these functionalities and then you see you can create the database also from here and then also the here the create point tables into the mysql database and then you can also the line tables you can create from here give it to them and also the you can get the metadata information from the tables that you have it in the backend servers that's all things is, is implemented 
and then save to the database and you can do everything to do into the database and then this is the based on the completely you can erase the specific one and point line for even completely java based there is no nothing to uh, do with uh, dependency injection from geo tool but you can combine those things that's the idea to build the two independent projects how can give it to you really clear java swing based projects and